Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're doing a full face of luxury holiday collections because I have a few collections. I have Chanel, Dior, Givenchy and Clé de Peau because Clé de Peau sent me some skincare and I thought we would do a little bit of skincare prep before we get into makeup. But before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. As you know, I have my online beauty consulting service. This is a one-on-one -on -one video chat with me where you get my undivided attention and it's really for more specialized makeup questions. Here you share me with close to 20,000 people on the internet. So with the consultation, it's really just personalized for whatever questions you have that are beauty related. So go ahead and book a session. Also, I have gift cards available, so maybe this is a service you would like to get for yourself, but you're trying to budget for it, you can go ahead and ask for this for the upcoming holiday season. Okay, let's go ahead and dive into today's video. Now, first of all, Clé de Peau sent me this cleansing trio, and inside the kit, you get three cleansing products. There's only going to be one that I'm going to use today because one of them is a cleansing oil. So the cleansing oil is great for at night when you want to remove your makeup. I love a cleansing oil, a cleansing balm. It really just breaks down all of the makeup. So this is more for the evening when you're going to, you know, wash your face. Then the product that I'm probably going to use today is the micellar cleansing water. Now this you can also use at night to remove makeup. I prefer a cleansing oil because I tend to wear heavier makeup, but this is a cleanser. It's really beautiful and also you can use this in the morning if you want to, just to remove everything that you were wearing last night, like skincare wise. Obviously I did my skincare last night, that's why it looks like this. I didn't do my skincare yet this morning, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this just to rinse off the, the evening. And then you also get a softening cleansing foam. This is really nice, it's just a classic uh, foam cleanser. So what I do typically is I go into the cleansing oil first, to remove the makeup and then I use the soft cleansing foam afterwards and the foam is nice because it's not stripping, it's not drying, it's not too intense. So if you're someone who has like dry skin, sensitive skin, it's a nice cleanser. And I think the trio is really cute and then you also get a bunch of cottons here too. So on the inside, when you pull this out, you get your cottons to remove your makeup, to do your skincare. This just tears open like this, and I think you get 36 of these soft cottons. If you are a fan of Clé de Peau cottons or Shiseido, these are amazing. And there's a little Clé de Peau logo down here. I don't know if you can see, but when you get these in person, you can actually see a little Clé de Peau logo, which is um, so extra. This doesn't really have a scent or anything, so I'm just going to... So even though I'm just wearing last night's skincare, I like to wash my face in the morning just to, you know, zhuzh myself awake, you know, refresh myself a bit. So I did that. Now we have the most beautiful moisturizer here. This is the Clé de Peau La Crème. This is an exquisite moisturizer. The formula is highly concentrated and helps to activate and regenerate natural radiance found in the skin. And the packaging is exquisite. I think the packaging matches the contents in the beauty, in the grace, in the elegance. It looks like a jewel, it looks like a diamond, it looks like a star, it looks like a constellation in the sky. It's absolutely breathtaking. So. I'm gonna go ahead and use this now. You do get a little spatula that comes with your moisturizer. So you can go ahead and apply a little bit of cream. I think that this texture is nice because it's really, it feels thick without being thick. Like as soon as you massage it into the skin, 
it just melts right away. And I have a little bit here on my neck. Let me just show you the texture. It looks like a buttery cream, but it's not heavy. It's not going to feel greasy. It just feels nice and silky and just very hydrating. I think it's a great moisturizer for winter, for, I'm, I have like dry dehydrated skin. So this is definitely a skin, a skin, a moisturizer for my skin type. I'm just going in with my Murad Vitamin C for the eyes. This is the Vita C Eye Dark Circle Corrector. This actually does work at correcting dark circles, dark pigmentation around the eyes. So I'm just going to do this to wake me up. The coffee helps, the eye cream helps, the moisturizer helps, it's all good. It's a team effort. All right, let's put on a bit of a chapstick. I'm going into my Emile Corden White Truffle. It smells gorgeous, it smells decadent. I'm going to be generous with this because it just feels very soothing and very moisturizing. And uh, I just feel like I need that right now because it's been so cold and I am just not like morally, mentally, I am not ready for it. I am not ready for winter. So I just need to like cocoon myself and give myself lots of moisture. So I have two eyeshadow palettes that I could use. I have one from Chanel and one from Dior. From Chanel, we have the nice lunar inspired eyeshadow palette. This one here is very warm. It's kind of coppery, but all the shadows are brown, warm, gold. I feel like maybe on certain skin tones, this might pull a bit orange depending on your skin tone. So we have that. But then from Dior, we have this palette here, the Cosmic Eyes, which is much more cool toned. It's more neutral cool. And I purchased this one in particular because Dior had two palettes out this season for the holidays and one was more warm. And because I knew that the Chanel one was coming out and it was gonna be warm, I'm very happy I went with this one here. So I may in fact just create a concoction and mix a little bit of both. To start off with, I'm going into my Refer 28 brush. All the brushes, all the products are always listed in the description box. So just go ahead and uh, click that. And I think Refer still has a 50% off sale for Black Friday. I don't know if the, qual the, the quantity is still there, but if it's in stock, you might still be able to get this. So again, this is the 28. And I like this just for just sweeping color on the lid and I just think that light color it's gonna be nice just on the lid like this it's a very simple color but it just makes you look awake and refreshed I love this palette here from Dior I know that some of the colors may be intense and obviously there is that dark black smoky color in there but you can use the other colors and this one here is my favorite I'm going to use it in a minute but this one here is like a slate gray it's really beautiful I just think it's it's really versatile now going into my refer 13 brush here I'm going into this color here I'm just going to pick some up because this color is very versatile you can pack it on and make it really dark or you can make it much lighter and I'm placing this in the outer corner here and so when you just apply it like this it does look a little bit darker but we're going to go ahead and blend it out and listen you can make this dark like this you can shear it out it's going to be up to you using a clean blending brush this is the refer 15 I'm just going to smoke this out not even smoke it out that's not the right term but just blend this out and you can see it's getting lighter and more sheer i i love this palette i just think it's great i think it's just really beautiful and i'm just so relieved to see more cool toned colors i don't know what it is like i love warm shadows too but i am just here for cool shadows i like all color you know i just want to see more variety and so I'm very happy to have this palette in my collection here. Now dipping into my Chanel palette, I'm going into this color here. This is 
a soft velvet matte color. It's a nice dark brown, but one thing about this palette here is that it's very, very buildable. When I think of like the typical Chanel client, she usually wants very soft colors. And so all of these colors here are very buildable, very soft, which means even though it looks like a dark brown, it's actually quite soft. And I'm going into the same brush from before from Ruffer because I just want something really easy. And I'm really just placing this over top of where I placed the color from the Dior. It's going in the same place. I'm just going to blend both of them together. And using the big fluffy brush from before, I'm just helping both of these colors blend together. I'm just going into a black waterproof liner from Chanel. I'm going to add some in the top waterline here and then a little bit on top and bottom and then I'm going to smudge a little bit of eyeshadow as well. I'm going into my Chanel dual ended retractable brush. I love these brushes so much I talk about them all the time. I'm going into this like slaty I was gonna say teal. This is really not teal. <laughs> this like slate uh, gray cool toned color here. I swear I know what my color is. I'm just going to blend a little bit on the liner and then blend a little bit on the bottom here. And I'm just going to do the same thing on this side. And then I'm going to go into my Chanel quad and use the same colors that I used before. Let's finish up the eyes with the Chanel Allure Mascara. I think this mascara is on its last leg. It's starting to dry up a bit, which makes sense because mascaras are not meant to last that long. Only a couple months, so... But I'm actually surprised because I feel like when I first tried out this mascara, I wasn't a fan. But the more I use it, the more I like it. But now I think it's time to refresh and renew it. Let's go into some complexion. My skin still looks very luminous and very hydrated from the moisturizer. So I'm gonna go into my water fresh tint in the shade medium. I'm having a pretty nice skin day. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this. And this is the Chanel Touch Up uh, Face Brush 04. It says it's a face brush. And honestly, I use it for a little bit of everything like foundation, tinted moisturizer, whatever. You can sort of use it for concealer. You can use it to apply blush. It's kind of a multi-purpose uh, face brush, which I like, especially for travel or anything on the go. You don't need to pack like a million brushes when you pack this one, so it's nice. The only thing I kind of wish it had a cover, I think it comes with a sheath somewhere, but I think that's why I like those dual-ended brushes so much, the eyeshadow ones, because they have their little cases, which just keeps the brush, you know, fresh and clean and stops your makeup case from becoming covered in whatever is on your brush. And then for the concealer, I'm going into my Chanel Sublimage Concealer. I am the shade 32. So 32 has like a nice peachy, rosy cut to it, which again, just helps hide any dark circles. I know that this concealer is quite expensive but you know it's because it's part skincare and part makeup it has a lot of the sublimage skincare ingredients when it comes to brightening smoothing out the under eye and just making everything look great and for me personally i think it's great i think it does everything that it claims to do like all the claims about it brightening your under eye smoothing out your under eye not creasing it doesn't crease like once you blend it out you don't need powder, you don't need to touch it up, it literally just stays in place for me. So I think it's wonderful. It is very expensive, but I personally would repurchase this one in a heartbeat. I forgot to mention earlier that the Clé de Peau Moisturizer, the cream, comes in this box here. This is the packaging that it comes in. So it's very extra. It matches the packaging for the cleansing trio. And I'm keeping it behind me as a display because it's so nice and so pretty. I really like this eyeshadow look because I think it just looks really sweet. Like it makes my eyes look bigger, I look awake, but I think it's also like work appropriate. Like I think you could wear this nine to five, that type of situation. It isn't overly dark 
and you do get to control how dark it gets. So I know a lot of you end up getting multiple collections. So if you did get both of these eyeshadow palettes, I would recommend trying to mix them and match them together. I just think blended together, it creates such a beautiful balanced harmony. So that is the concealer set. Like as soon as you blend it out, it's set. You don't have to bake it or do anything to it. I am going to go into a face powder here from Givenchy. This is their holiday collection. Givenchy came out with a very small, concise holiday collection, which I appreciate. It's a Prism Libre face powder number 12, Lumière Polaire, which means polar lights, and then two lipsticks. I love this so much. First of all, the packaging. It looks like a silver puffer jacket because it's meant to. It's meant to emulate a Givenchy puffer jacket and it feels squishy. It's amazing and I like a lot. Actually, I love the Givenchy loose powders because they're very finely milled. They're not drying. They're not cakey. You don't see anything settling into fine lines and I think that this is just a beautiful face powder. So it's nice to have this in the holiday release because you can sort of uh, pick and mix from different collections and create a full face of holiday items from different brands. So I'm just going to go ahead and take some of this and dump some out. I'm using, I think this is technically a cheek brush, but any face brush will do. And I'm just going to press this where I tend to get a little bit oilier or things break down a little bit more. I can go ahead and just place this everywhere if I want to because it's not going to dry me out or be cakey and it's just really nice it's really fine like if you're someone like I'm not a powder girl like I don't have oily skin I don't really care about mattifying or anything like that like this just sets everything locks it in place and gives you just like a really soft blur so I'm so happy about this. And again, oh, the packaging, the packaging is gorgeous, you guys. So I kind of feel like skipping a bronzer because I don't know, like some days I wake up and I'm like, I'm going to pretend I'm in the tropics somewhere and do bronzer. But today I don't feel like it. I think I'm going to just going to go ahead and do some blush. So using my Chanel blush brush number 110, I'm going into, if I can find it, uh, my Dior uh, blush here. So this one here is called, I think it's Cosmic Red. It's number 826. So there are two blushes from the release this year. There's one that's more of a beautiful peachy coral. This one's more red. And I like red lipstick. I like red nail polish too. So if you are one for a berry lip, a mauve, a raspberry, a red, I think this blush would be a nice complimentary item here so just going to use this and this blush is very intense i think i'm just gonna go ahead and knock some off here because i i know there we go sometimes i forget how opaque and pigmented dior blushes are i feel like dior blushes are often overlooked they're just they're really great they're just like a good product and i didn't really tap into this that much I just remembered a couple days ago I wore this and I didn't tap off any excess and I was like, okay, let me go ahead and remove a little bit. So just be mindful of that. But you know, it's just a really great blush. So it kind of gives you that like, I just came in from the cold, cold cheek blush and with a beautiful like red or berry lip, it just really pulls the entire look together. For the lip, I'm going into my Givenchy Le Rouge Interdit Intense Silk 338. So in the bullet, it kind of looks like a regular red, but when you wear it, it kind of pulls more raspberry and it looks beautiful. It kind of just brightens up your whole complexion. So it's just a great color. And again, the packaging for this matches the powder where it looks like a silver puffer jacket. It is too cute. I love it. These are, I, I was gonna say collectible, not collectible, but limited edition cases. So you can swap your lipstick out for a different case if you want. I love this because it matches the powder. It gives me like Y2K chic, you know, like Y2K millennial chic. So this is the red. It's like a take on a classic red. It's not the classic 
999 from Dior Red. It's a bit more berry and I kind of like it. It kind of just changes things up. If you're someone who's maybe struggled with finding a red lip, maybe go for this one here because it's just a little bit different. There's no orange in it. It's not warm. It's more raspberry, more of a berry with like a little bit of a pink underneath. Just really pretty. Let's go ahead and add a little bit of highlighter as a finishing touch. This is the Chanel Or Rose, which means rose gold. This is a beautiful imprint of number five on the moon. I mean, why not? We went to the moon and we brought number five and we did a little bit of graffiti apparently. Okay, our last final finishing touch will be Mademoiselle. This is the Fragments Pearly Body Gel. This is not an oil, it's a body gel. It looks amazing and trust me, it looks even better in person. Ugh, it's giving like a rose gold swirl. I swear, it looks good enough to eat. Do not eat, but it looks so decadent. It looks delicious and if you like Coco Mademoiselle, you're going to love this because this is like for the woman who just loves everything mademoiselle. What's nice is that because it's a, a gel, it absorbs into the skin oh, so quickly because it's water-based and so you're just adding another layer of water to your skin which is nice for winter and it smells so gorgeous. It smells like mademoiselle, exactly like mademoiselle and it's just like a different version of it. So let's go ahead and apply some on my arms here. Let's see if I can do a minimal uh, mess. Let me go ahead and pour some out for you so you can see. My preferred way of applying this is out of the shower. Once I've moisturized my body, I just go in with this and it just sort of seals the deal. It seals everything and you can do the same thing with the number five body oil, but like this is already absorbed. It takes seconds to just sink into the skin. It's not oily. There's no residue. Oh, smells amazing and there is a little bit of shimmer left behind so there is that but it smells amazing oh gorgeous so it's nice to do this on your legs on your arms all over your body if you just want to smell like mademoiselle and oh yeah i don't know what else to say it looks gorgeous it smells gorgeous if you like mademoiselle you're going to love the pearly body gel all right guys i think this is it for my head to toe uh holiday inspired full makeup look we've covered skincare makeup and fragrance so for those of you out there who are still shopping the holiday releases i hope this was helpful i hope i give you some ideas some tips some tricks let me know what you think down in the comments let me know what other reviews or makeup looks you would like to see in the near future. If you are not subscribed to my channel, I highly encourage you to do so. I know some of you have been watching a few videos, but you haven't subscribed yet. What are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit subscribe. I post a lot about luxury beauty, a lot about French brands as well, because I'm from Montreal, so I have a little French flair to me. So anyway, that is it for today's video. So thank you all so much for stopping by. Hope you have a beautiful day. And I'll see you next time. Bye.